Hi, I am Min Chang Xiao. I am a PhD student from Medical Genomics Lab from University of Alabama at Birmingham. Medical Genomics Lab is a CAP certified nonprofit clinical lab, and Dr. Lu Wenmin is the lab director. We offer comprehensive testing for common and rare genetic disorders, including NF1, SPRE1, Watson syndrome, NF2, and schwannomatosis. I would like to introduce our study recently published in the journal Human Mutation. Palindrome mediated and replication dependent pathogenic structural rearrangements within the NF1 gene. NF1 is a common neurocutaneous disorder affecting about 1 in 3,000 individuals all over the world. This disorder is caused by mutation in the NF1 gene on chromosome 17. Within intron 40 of the NF1 gene, there is a 197 base pair long palindromic AT rich repeat, as known as PATRR17. We identified six unrelated patients with a rearrangement involving intron 40 including five deletions and one translocation between chromosome 14 and 17. Palindromic sequences are believed to be associated with DNA double strand break. Therefore, we hypothesize that PATRR17 might be involved in all of the rearrangement, thereby causing NF1. Breakpoint cloning revealed that PATRR17 was indeed involved in all of the rearrangements. In all five deletions, as a microhomology was present at all breakpoint junctions, and all PATRR17 partner breakpoints were located within 7.1 kb upstream of PATRR17. For stalling and template switching was the most likely rearrangement mechanism. In addition, we identified an intragenic rearrangement hotspot within the NF1 gene to a 7 base pair sequence within the PATR17 loop. We propose that during DNA replication, PATR17 may form a helping structure that can stop DNA replication. After disengaging from the original replication fork, the stored strain is free to invade a nearby replication fork through microhomology. Subsequently, the DNA replication restores and ultimately results in these deletions. In the translocation case, we propose that the PATRR17 from a cruciform structure stalling DNA replication. The stored strains may go backward and attempt to replicate again to surpass the collapsed replication fork. This serial stalling and re-replication resulted in a 51 base pair insertion and a failure to continue replication, leading to a 5.5 kb deletion on chromosome 17. On chromosome 14, a short palindrome and a quadruplex forming gyrus sequence may lead to a 4.8 kb deletion. Ultimately, the four broken ends were likely misaligned through microhomology and connected by non-homologous end joining, resulting in the chromosomal translocation. Although several previous studies indicate a purely replication independent mechanism for PATR mediated translocations, the PATR17 mediated intragenic deletions as well as the translocation are likely the result of a replication-dependent mechanism. I would like to thank all the people involved in this work, and I would like to invite you to read a full article published in Human Mutation. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention.